Hi guys, how's it going? I wanted to speak to you today about happiness and what makes us happy. All right, it's been what we tend to focus on in our life tends to grow. So let's focus on what makes us happy and not what gets us stressed and depressed. Now, happiness, one of the basic things we need to be happy is having our basic needs met. So eating every day, having shelter, having maybe some people that look out for us or care for us, um, having running water and those sort of basic things and this is going to link on to having a basic level of health. So having a basic level of health is going to help us be able to enjoy our lives more, uh, we're going to be healthy, we're going to be energised, so that will, you know, that is a basic foundational level of something that can make us feel happy. Now, a lot of people think that having money and having all these material things is going to help make us happy. Now, obviously on a basic level, we do need to have money to enable us to, to meet our basic needs. So having food and having a shelter and everything. But when it gets much past uh, meeting those basic needs, uh, a lot of studies have shown that there isn't that much change in the level of happiness with those really, really wealthy people compared to the people that are making enough to meet, meet their basic needs. So there's not a massive difference. So when people think that money is going to make them happy, it hasn't been proven that that's the case at the moment. So think about other things that can make you happy. So one of the other things uh, that can make us happy is being in the present moment or being in the zone. I've spoken about this on another video, but when we're absorbed in an activity and we're we're so much in the present moment, we're not thinking, we're not anxious about what's going to happen in the future, we're not regretful of what's happened in the past, we're just fully immersed in the present moment, that's when we're feeling at our best, that's when we're in the zone, we're in the flow of things, and that's having moments like this is going to lead to having a more positive, happy life. Now, a couple of activities that you can do to, to be in the zone, there's lots of things, different people find different different ways of, of being in the present moment. Meditation's great, uh, playing a sport or a physical activity is fantastic because we're fully immersed in that. Also physical activity releases dopamine, uh, which is a, a chemical in our body that makes us feel better. Obviously the oxygen that is being pumped around our body by our blood is going to make us feel more energised and more happy. So physical activity or sport is a great thing to be in the present moment. Also, maybe something like a musical instrument, playing music, can also really immerse us and help us be in the present moment. So anything that helps us be in the zone or really concentrate on what we're doing is fantastic. Okay. The third thing that a lot of um, studies have shown, particularly in America at a university called Harvard, which has studied happiness quite a lot, they found in their studies that the people that tend to live happier lives had a, a positive network of friends, family or community that would support them, that could, that the social interaction would help boost their mood and boost their levels of happiness. So having a network of positive people, whether it be friends, whether it be family, whether it be um, someone in the community, having that network tends to to help people lead, lead a more happier life and tends to lead to more positive emotions. So friends, family and community, very important, has been proven in, in these studies. Next thing uh, is contribution, acts of kindness. So how are you making people around you feel better? How are you making the world a better place? So generally speaking, when we're doing these things, we're feeling better, we're making other people feel better, which in turn has been de has been proven to make us feel better as well. All right, so think about how you make people feel around you. Think about what are you doing for other people. Now, Muhammad Ali had a quote where he'd say, contribution is our rent that we pay for living here on this earth. So what, what we do for other people, how we contribute in, is, is going to help us lead a more positive and going to lead us a more enriched life. Next thing, I've spoken about this on one of my other videos, is gratitude. Having an attitude of gratitude. All right, Being grateful for what we have rather than what we don't have is going to help us bring in more of what, we, what we're grateful for and it's going to help us lead a more positive life. So, there's a quote here. 
Happiness is not having what you want, it is appreciating what you have. Okay, so look at what you have, be grateful for what you have, and this will lead to a more satisfactory and positive lifestyle. All right, so there's a couple of things just to recap a couple of things that can help us lead a more happy life having our basic needs met, so being healthy and, and making sure we're doing the right things to make us feel rested and energized. Point number two is being in the present moment, so being in the flow of life, living in the present moment, being absorbed. Point number three, okay, is having a social network, so having friends, family and community that are going to positively affect your life and, and help boost up your levels and support you. Contribution, acts of kindness is our next one, so making, pe making the world around us better, what are we doing to make things better in the world, what are we doing to make other people around us feel better. And the last one is gratitude, so being grateful for what you have, appreciating what you have and living with a attitude of gratitude. Okay, thanks for watching today guys.